I'm armed and dangerous today because I've got a clicker and I'm not afraid to use it. This of course is the side of the very very busy A614, it's the main sort of north to south route through Nottinghamshire aside from the M1. I'm here at Clumber Park, it's time for another count of Platybuna's Pine Tour. Well as many of you will know that have seen these Platybuna's Pine Tour and count videos from this site before, this is as you can hear, a rather noisy place to come and visit, but it happens to be the best place probably in the UK producing the highest counts of Platybunus Pine Torum. And so I can't really complain when the lights of the lorry that you've just seen go past actually go past. It's a very busy road, A614. In a way, it's a shame that Platybunus Pine Torum is here, it would be so much nicer if it was in a lovely quiet spot but surveys over the last few years have revealed that quite often Platybunas Pine Torum and main roads such as the A614 often go together well it's took what seems an age in order to find my first Platybunas Pine Torum and on this side of this particular tree I can see that there are two on here but I did think I would be able to walk up to the first tree and start my count immediately far from it I've had a good walk around so far and I'm struggling to find any but certainly the ground floor of this small strip of deciduous woodland here on the edge of Clumber Park is changing it's becoming more dominated by bramble Pintorum doesn't like vegetation, it can stand the likes of a carpet of bluebells but when you start to get bramble growing, Platybunus Pintorum doesn't like that it likes very little, if ideally no vegetation at all, in its habitat even though it spends the majority of its sub-adult and adult life in this situation, stuck on the trunks of trees waiting for its next meal to walk past but our count is underway with two on this particular tree in fact as I walk around and check the rest of the tree I see that there are indeed five and this is the lowest of the five it's about three feet off the ground which is typically where you find them anything from three to eight feet off the ground floor So I've walked through quite a part of this strip of woodland, not seen a single Platybunus pintorum, and then all of a sudden one tree with five on it. Well, my clicker still says six. Hardly going to wear it out at this rate, but I'm struggling to find Platybunus pintorum here at the moment, and I'd never thought I would say that after how this species has increased here over the years. Last year, I think I had over 250 individuals in this particular bit of woodland just a six today so far but the vegetation I think is key here however not a bad place to spend an hour counting stuff is it
when you've studied something for a number of years you eventually start to realize that maybe you haven't found out everything about a particular species even when you think you have when you think you've got the measure of a particular species you discover something new about it it's not always possible to google or read up on something and I think it's really nice to find out for yourself a bit put yourself out and record a particular species or monitor a particular species and as you know this is one of my favorite species to monitor and today has proved something of a learning curve I never dreamt of finding the number that I have found I won't give the full total until I'm back at the car but it's surprising but what I have learnt is that this species is probably in the numbers it is because they've either moved and shifted within this woodland as I mentioned a couple of times before moved to areas where the ground vegetation is far less but having checked such areas in this woodland I found something else or I'm beginning to realise something that a key ingredient was on this tree when I first started filming this but it's now gone sunlight I've found relatively few Platybunus pintorum and those that have found have all been on the trunks where there's been some degree of sunlight to get into that trunk I found only a couple on trees where at the time of recording there's no sunlight on and I think that's a general theme and I'm wondering whether these actually go up into the canopy certainly on Bubba South Forest and other places we've beat these from mature pines and semi-mature pines do these that live in a deciduous woodland do they go into the canopy it's difficult to say because of all the Platybunus pintorum that I've recorded they've all been either from sort of just above ground level up to about eight or nine feet N despite looking up the tree never seen them higher than that so the majority of the count that I thought I would get have either sort of moved off a little bit moved into new areas or maybe they're at the top of the trees either way it's still a handsome beast and this one looked quite dark when I initially found it but it's a beauty Well, what kind of count have I indeed ended up with here today at the side of A614? Let's see what the clicker says. I forgot one. 